Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to play some games with ADP Station and we're playing it with Blade. On the coin flip, on the coin flip. I also like to go second since play the chance to get the turn 1. GX attack is pretty high. Our hand is pretty solid. We have clay as well as energy spinner, sauce and energy switch. So the only card we need of clay would be quick ball to get ourselves station of the deck, discarding an energy and being able to GX attack turn 1. Okay, for mobile it's great, we start with energy spinner, getting ourselves 2 water and 1 metal energy out of the deck. Playing the clay, now it's also okay if just an energy would get discarded and get the mobile in hand. Okay, we discarded boss, not too great, but since we have other girls we can get that back as often as we want. Okay, we play the quick ball on the metal energy. Getting ourselves the station, benching the station, playing the saucer to the station, as well as the energy switch and the water energy. I also attach the balloon to the station. If you play Soul Scrapper, it's okay as well if you discard it, so it discards one. And I think I don't want to do more while yet. Like he has a lot in hand, but anything, so we'll just use the other. In here. The opponent will get the Remax maybe and the energy, so we are not able to attack next turn. Also playing Crushing Hammer, okay, Tails. But if we can attack with this Talon Remax, we have no chance of attacking the falling turn right now, since we don't have any. Quick ball, great ball, uh, quick ball or choice ball or any other way to get out the den or quote of the deck. So I believe we just attach an engine next turn and have it sort of station. Okay, find yourself a second remax as well as an instance for the Cosma. Just need one NG, that's enough I guess. I would also like if he attacks with 160, wouldn't mind that too much I guess, since I can attach the water and just boss or capture the quota from the bench and take the first two prizes there. So yeah, Let's see, there's the guy stands for one energy and playing the dead down, guarding Arnie into research, okay. Nice stands again. Second energy into the third energy. So he's able to attack with 160 this turn. I guess he will do that. But we're in a pretty good spot, I guess. If we get heads and catcher, just need to attack next turn. And he definitely can't take knockouts on the ADP station and the station, and the station next turn. Okay, so it Iceland again, two more energies, and the max bullet. Okay, so I guess that's fine. Drawing an air balloon. Let's see if catch gets us in hats. No? Okay, so we need to boss. We boss up the Quobot here, play the energy to the ADP, and just attack with ultimate way. So now we need the boss or the catcher out of the deck. There are two catch in the deck, one boss. And also the Eldegoss is prized, so we have also the chance of getting the Eldegoss out of the prize cards. Okay, so free energy to the station. And we got the Poker Catcher, that's nice. Push ball, getting us the dead end. And a switch, okay. We got pretty good cards of the prizes. Josh ball, we can, uh, get, uh, can get ourselves to the den. Okay, so we're squashing him again, taste again, Nebaloon. Hasn't played, no, he hasn't played any support or lost in, I guess. Played the Yelp Grunt, either the Weak Patrol the Mani, so that's interesting. Non support in hand, it looks like, yes. So he's. He needs to search the deck for the then here, yeah. Okay, 
Then down, Trunk 6. I believe he's dodging for Washing Hammers or Yelkrons. That's the best way right now if I need two energies, more energies to attack with the station. He also hasn't a full bench, so we can't KO the, uh, the Dan with Mobile. But okay, he just attacks. So let's see if we can get Hat with the Catcher. Not, we get play the Church Ball and get to the Den of the deck and hope to draw boss for a catcher and for heads then. But let's see. Okay. My turn. I'm playing the catcher. And it's heads. Okay, so that was game one. Perfect. We've played, take the knockout on the Den. Getting us all the last three prize cards. Okay, so that was game one. And we'll play another game. See you there. Okay, hey, there we are. Game 2. Let's see what we are up against now. Playing against Becky. Okay. Lost the coin flip. Let's see if opponent is going first. Yes, it's great. Going second again. Okay, not too great of a start. Just a doge ball. And just spinner. It's pretty okay, I guess. If I get a good card of the clay, a quick bomb, or and energy switch and switch like that. Then we are able to pull off the GX attack. If not, we have to see if we can get a design or quote off the deck to find more cards. Okay, so Spirit Home from my opponent. Might be a Spirit Home deck or an Eternatus. Quick Ball, discarding Darkness Energy. I believe we'll see. Yes, it's an Eternatus deck. Okay, he's attaching the genders, attaching an energy. Switch. Gas will be building spide, yes. Laying down the crowbat. Four cards. Well, it's fine, we are not playing any stadium cards. Just a little well. Location on the Remax. Fine here. Yeah. Another Pokemon, I guess. Yeah, Sneasel. Okay, so he's playing the Weaver as well in the deck. It's also a great target for. Okay, I get to use the energy spinner first. Get one energy, just the water energy. Only one in deck, that's not too great, but we'll be able to attach the 2 the ADP, I guess, anyways. Okay, so play the Cherish Ball and get my ADP. And play the Clay and hope. Get something. Okay. Got the Cherish Ball as well as the Switch. Okay, we'll use the Cherish Ball here. If we had gotten an Energy Switch, I would have just used Norwal here. But now I'm not sure if I will. The Den instead. I think that's a better option right now. And try to find the cards we need after all. Bench the ADP, catch the water. Fortunately, not able to play. Dosser down, but attaching the Avaloon active. Also playing the catcher, maybe trying to stall him one turn, getting a forward into the active. And just use the Den here. Okay, we find the quick ball. Okay, not too great. Nothing we really need. So we'll quick ball onto clay or the quick ball. I believe we'll take the clay here. Getting myself the station. Benching that one. I will leave the then active, I guess. Catch the evolution to the station. I can still dig with the Crobalin deck. Maybe I'll buy that. Cutting the energy here. I have enough in the deck, so I guess it's okay. Getting me the Crobat and drawing five. See if we're able to get everything we need? No. Okay, so I will just use Intrepid Sword and see that we use the GX attack at least next turn. And go on with that. Okay, so at least his Grobit is active now, 
So he needs a switch to retreat. Also, one switch is already down, so only for the deck. At a maximum, okay, there's the turn to 3 max. And the energy, the building spite. And does he have a supporter? Yes, there's research, discarding the quick ball. Adding with 7 new cards. He also needs to find some Pokemon to be able to KO the Zen here. But now he's only dealing with 20, so he needs more. I believe that shouldn't be too difficult with the deck, but maybe he's unlucky and didn't get it. But let's see. I like my hand right now, having a metal saucer as well as an energy in hand. So I can just retreat the ADP and attach energy there as well as playing the sauce on the station. So, okay, opponent giving up. So, won that game, interesting. And we're going into one more game. Okay, there we are, game 3. I lost the crown flip, so the opponent is going first. The opponent is going first, that's fine. We have two station, station start. Okay. Two saucer is not too great, because we only have one energy. We can discard right now. So we might have to discard the other saucer. But we might also take the forward from the quick ball here. Okay, we're playing against the Nintendo's again. And she turned us while it's actually hiding, playing Bobat. Okay, I got myself a second metal energy. So, quick ball away the metal energy. The Crowbat even in the deck. Yes, it would be in the deck. Probably could draw three cards. I guess I will play the Dan. Crowbat then. Getting me one energy back. And use the Dan. Dude. Or six new cards. Okay. The ADP at least. As well as an attachment to the ADP. Don't want to use the saucer yet. So we'll just use the intrepid sword on the batched one. So you can charge ball and the switch is great. So we can find out the then. Play the switch onto the ADP. He will also play the also next turn onto station on the bench. So we have two energies attached to that one. And needing to discard the two boss and the Aldegas. Something I don't like to see. But can't do anything against that if we really want to pull off the GX second turn. Also giving him hey he's playing stamps, so see what we can do. Also giving him one more time one more turn time to build up his board state is something I don't like. Since easily able to AD KO the ADP if he has one more turn. Okay he's six going down, yes. P has five Pokemon down down, so he needs two more to KO the active station. But at least I have the water energy and the switch in hand, so I can use that to use the GX attack. It is Absol, that's the Crobat. He hasn't found any energy yet. At least that's something I liked. There is the energy now. And the Dread End for the knockout here. Okay, so I might just use the. Shavish Ball onto Mobile and see what he has in hand. See? Okay, there are enough Pokemon and Boss. Okay, so if I bench him the Crobat and play the Boss onto Crobat or Degenitus. Maybe Degenitus is better, but. Yeah, I need to take the Eternatus here. Play the energy and use the auto creation. And hope he isn't able to find himself another energy here. 
or a card to retreat. Got the boss, that's okay, since we have the energy switch in hand, also the VMAX. Okay, he hasn't found anything to retreat. So now the question becomes, do we want to use the play? No, maybe just use the switch on the ADP. And I would like to use the Zen here. Trying to find the energy and the boss again. Perfect, we found the energy, as well as the boss and the Crobat. And we have the Quick Ball in hand, want you to keep that to get myself the Eligos next turn. And to steal 180, getting the Crobat, getting me free energies, fetching two to the station, one to the mobile, That's since the mobile is also doing a lot of damage, since there's eight Pokemon on the bench most of the time. And getting free price cards here. Catch energy switch and the energy spinner. So if it doesn't didn't draw anything great from the top tag right now, we won't be able to do anything. So we'll just use the quick ball now to the Eldegas and get ourselves the forward active and KO that one. So also having the quick in hand, we'll use that first, but that seems like the game is settled here and we won. So, Satian active, playing the catcher, let's see if we get hats. Yes, we get hats, so the Crobat, and just use the Wave Blade for the knockout. So yeah, that was three games for today. Thanks everybody for watching, and hope to see you again on this channel, and see you in the next video.